realize this, they learn that every one of you realizes the better. You're welcome to another episode of Safety Moment with Waliola. Today we'll be discussing straight about the difference between accident investigation and risk management. Most times, most of the tools that are being used for accident investigation and risk management techniques are always similar. Like when we talk about some of the techniques we use, the five wise, you can use it for risk management as a risk management technique and also you can also use it as a tool for your accident investigation. But today let us pinpoint some little differences that we might see when it comes to risk management techniques and accident investigation techniques. While we continue to discuss, I'm very sure you know that this is a platform where we discuss a lot of health and safety issues. We discuss a lot of health and safety topics and we highlight various tips that have to do with health and safety. Workplace safety, industrial safety, home safety and the like. So it's good when you subscribe and you click on the notification button so that you continue to get updates on our videos. Talking about the differences between accident investigation techniques and risk management techniques. One of them is being conducted before an event happens. That is an unfavorable event. While the other is being conducted, it's being done after an event has taken place. We know what the answer is. Risk management techniques are used in order to prevent an accident from happening. That is, these techniques are put in place in order to see areas that need improvement. Possible areas where there can be loopholes, where we need to create barriers, where the reliability is very low. And we look out for various measures in order to close out these gaps, this, improve these barriers and increase the layers of protection. And that is for risk management. But talking about accident investigation, it's as a result of an accident happening. The event has already taken place and we are now looking at what went wrong, what were the loopholes, what are those things that went wrong. And we are trying to use those same tools to analyze the event, starting from the various points where there are control measures and what failed and what led to the accident, to the point of how could we have reduced or mitigated the effect of this accident. So accident investigation techniques are used in order to prevent a reoccurrence of the accident. Why risk management techniques are used not only to prevent accidents but to promote and to improve on the safety culture or the safety process of the system, at the end of the day, is still to prevent accidents. That is number one. The second point becomes clearer from what we just said about accident investigation and risk management. And that is, accident investigation is more of a reactive approach. Why risk management techniques are more, is more of a proactive approach. We're talking about proactive approach and reactive approach. We are talking about, there are two differences. Proactive is, you are taking this step, you are taking a particular step in order to prevent an incident from happening. While reactive approach means that after the accident or the incident that happened, you are looking at what went wrong in order to improve on the system. So we can say that risk management techniques is more of a proactive approach in order to improve on the system, while accident investigation is more of a reactive approach in order to improve on the system. So from this first two points, it is easier to say that accident investigation finds itself around lagging indicators because it's as a result of so many lagging indicators that were not addressed, such as number of lost time injuries, number of near misses that are called, and which are all lagging indicators. So accident investigation techniques can find itself as a result of various lagging indicators. So for risk management techniques, it is safe to say that it will find itself around leading indicators, because the parameters that goes around risk management techniques talks about proactive approach. When you're talking about after having risk management techniques, after applying the particular risk management tools and techniques into your system, and you periodically check, for example, number of inspections that you've done, you periodically review your proactive approach, you periodically review your risk management techniques to see if it is conforming or if, if it's in conformance with what you want, or if it is giving you the performance index that you want, and if it is leading you to the safety culture that you want to have in your organization, and also to prevent accidents. So it is safe to say that, again, Accident investigation techniques we find itself around lagging indicators, while risk management techniques we find itself around leading indicators. There is no way that an organization will run without having unsafe act, unsafe condition. Zero hazard is possible, but there are still human factors and other factors that will require continuous improvement on the system. So the leading indicators and the lagging indicators will always come together to help to promote the safety culture of the organization. And that's what we have for us on today's episode of Safety Moment with Valiola. Remember to share. Do remember to subscribe and do remember to invite others to learn. Let's learn together. Thank you and God bless you. The earlier we realize this, the earlier every one of you realizes, the better it will be for us.